name's uh, Richard Graves. I'm a mixed media, disciplinary, multidisciplinary artist uh, from Abingdon, Virginia, and a lot of times I say from the Wolf Hills of Virginia. Um, so I always gear towards a lot of wet media and a lot of transparent media. So I'm, I'm very comfortable with like ink, gouache, watercolor. Um, and I very much like that because I'm, I'm drawn to people, I'm drawn to portraiture, and I feel like with transparent media, that's a good way to kind of symbolically capture, you know, what's underneath. I very much am not one of those hide your brushstroke artists. I had a passion for art ever since. Um, I was young, I loved to draw, I loved to, it was very social for me, I loved doing it with friends. and. I got to a point in my life where I kind of lost that and didn't have a compulsion to create for, for many, many years. And, um, I really needed um, you know, an avenue to express myself and a few years went by and I was um, selling a lot more as a hobbyist and it was becoming a larger part of my workflow. Um, I kind of decided that that was the time to make that transition from doing it part-time, that being the main part of my workflow, and doing it professionally. Um, so for me, it was something that I really lost and was very fortunate enough to, uh, to find again. I Connection with others is is one of my big inspirations in a lot of ways. You know, um, personally, as a as a viewer of art, I'm always drawn to the human figure, whether that's explicitly, you know, in figure drawing or even if I'm looking at an abstract piece. My background is in broadcast journalism, and I worked at a public radio station for about a decade. And um, through that, I was really able to develop an appreciation of hearing people's stories and kind of learning about others, and that's something I think very much comes out um, in my work and in my practice is kind of that curiosity about others. Um, you know, in addition to using portraiture as a subject, I'm so inspired by the other artists in this community and that I you know, feel very privileged that I get to work with and do shows with. And, collaborate with, um, you know, for me art is kind of has those those two different sides to it. It's very internal, it's very personal, it's something that I do um, on my own as a part of self-reflection, but at the same time, you know, I love working with the other people and being a part of a larger artistic community and that feeds me as well. So I'm very much kind of constantly pulled between those those two ends. Contemporary artist today, I think, is, is a pretty exciting opportunity because the art world and the world in general is changing so dramatically, um, and that's that's only going to continue. Um, I see contemporary art now as being very connected to grassroots organizing and um, looking for ways to engage people outside of the traditional art world or academia and have a lot more um, diversity and inclusion and reach um, than art does now. I think when people look back at this period in art history, they'll, they'll see that kind of grassroots organizing connection um, where there's um, you know a connection to social justice, racial justice, environmental justice, all these problems that um, kind of are plaguing our world. I think artists are going to be at the forefront of that shifting culture. Um, and my hope would be that um, you know the idea of people that collect art or people that create art um, isn't going to be such a, a rigid definition going forward. Mm -hmm.